Hello YouTube sidekick here and my trusty mission editor. We have a video today about how to use the A4's nav computer and how to make it work with the horizontal situation indicator. The first thing you need to know about the nav computer is that it only has access to two waypoints at any one time. By default, waypoint one in the nav computer is waypoint one from the mission editor. Waypoint two in the nav computer is Waypoint zero from the mission editor. Essentially, it means that you can fly to any waypoint and then turn around and fly back to where you came from. If you want to change the waypoints, you can do that during the mission, but it's pretty cumbersome, and I don't really use it very often, and I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial. So why would we want to use the nav computer? Usually, the reason that we're going to use the nav computer is because we want to make a low-level precision approach to a target, and we can't pop up high enough to see it, but we want to make sure that we arrive at the target of where we expect to. We could also use the nav computer in the case where we have, for instance, uh, overcast and we're flying above the clouds and we need to navigate to the target without being able to see it. But we're going to look at the low-level precision approach. We're going to look at two different ways that you can use the nav computer to do that approach. So we have two uh, A4s set up here in the mission editor. We're going to use them one for each mission. Uh, in part one, we're going to use this one, and we're going to do what I call the waypoint method of using the nav computer. So the situation is we have this very well-defended airport up here. We need to approach it from a low level so that we don't make ourselves a target for the flak, and let's assume there might be SAMs around, so we can't come in high. We have to come in low. We also want to arrange to approach the target down the length of the runway because we're going to drop some snake eyes on the runway from low level. So we have the problem not only of needing to find the target, but need to come at it from the right direction. So we're going to set up a waypoint that is basically off the end of the runway, uh, a number of um, a ways, you know, a few nautical miles, but it's off the end of the runway. We're going to navigate to that waypoint with the nav computer, and we're going to turn on to the right bearing to take us to the target and arrive at the right uh, bearing so that we fly down the runway. Clear enough? So let's take a look at the runway. The first thing we need to do is actually figure out what uh, bearing we're going to have to fly from the waypoint. Okay, well, that's 220 is, is the runway, but I guess that's actually the opposite we want to fly the other way. So we're going to fly from the waypoint to the runway at 40 degrees. So remember, 40 degrees. Once we make the turn, we're going to have to turn at 40 degrees and fly towards the target. And that's going to bring us to the runway flying in the right direction. Now, I guess it would also be helpful here to figure out just exactly how far we're going to have to fly. That'll be a useful thing to know. So let's uh, use our measurement tool here, get it on again. And so it's uh, about 12, 11, 12 nautical miles from the waypoint to the runway. So to review, the plan is to get in the game, set waypoint one in the nav computer, fly to waypoint one, turn to 40 degrees, uh, stay below 500 feet and arrive at the runway in the right place. Let's go to the game. Okay, so we're starting pause, getting a few things set up. We want the radar in C mode. We're switching the nav computer to D1, so waypoint one, and we're flipping the switch up to make the HSI uh, read the nav computer. So a quick guide to the nav computer. The needle points towards the target. The little carrot at the top is the direction we're flying, and the digits in the side uh, are the distance to the waypoint. So, uh, well, we're getting fenced in here. Uh, we've got some snake eyes. So we want to drop them all, uh, and we want to put a long interval on them and drop them singly. So back to looking at the HSI. So the needle points to the waypoint. When the needle is at the top, like it is right now, that means we're flying towards the waypoint. The numbers beside the needle are the distance to the waypoint. The top is tens of nautical miles, and the bottom is uh, ones of nautical miles. So at this point, we are flying towards the waypoint. Uh, approximately due north. You can see the compass rows underneath uh, the needle in the HSI, and we're counting down the distance to the target, or to the waypoint. And that is just passing through 
little bit more than two nautical miles. So coming up on the time to make the turn. So what we're going to find is as we get close to the waypoint, the needle's going to start to swing because we're passing the waypoint. So rather than trying to follow it, we're going to turn. So we remember that we need to turn to 40 degrees as we pass the waypoint. So that's a where we're going to, somewhere around there. We're going to roll out on 40 degrees. We're nice and low and headed towards our target. So now what we're going to do when we get a little bit closer is just because we can't be sure we're lined up exactly right, we'll do a little bit of a pop-up. at around six nautical miles, so around six nautical miles from the waypoint, uh, which is now, we'll take a little pop up, not too high, just enough to be able to roll over and pick up the runway, there's the runway, we're almost lined up on it, we're a little bit to the right, so we've got to come back a little bit to the left, get down again below the 500 foot level. I want to get down below 500 and then probably come up to close to 500 to drop the bombs. Not really that important how high we drop them. We're not trying to make a precise drop. We just want to get them somewhere in the middle of the runway. So we're lined up. We're around 500 feet. Good and straight. And pickle. And there they go. runway algorithm is telling us we got eight hits from eight bombs, which is good. So now we're just going to egress low, stay out of the way of the flak, do a little bit of low fly in here. So that's the method of using the nav computer to read a waypoint and use the waypoint as a turning point to approach the target on a precision approach. As you can see, it worked out pretty well. We weren't exactly lined up with the runway, but we were pretty close. And we could do a nice low-level pop-up, uh, get ourselves lined up, drop the bombs down the middle of the runway. Uh, next part of this uh, series, we'll take a look at how to use the nav computer, where we use the target as the waypoint rather than as a turning point. And in that video, I'll also show you, just in case you didn't believe it, uh, what would have happened if we'd actually approached the harbor uh, at an altitude instead of doing the low-level precision approach that we did, uh, just in case you don't believe me that there was a lot of flack around the, that airfield. So, as per usual, if you're enjoying these videos and finding them useful, it would be great if you would subscribe to the channel and keep watching and liking the videos. For now, this is Sidekick, signing off.